Hello everyone, welcome to Deep Sight Channel. I am your host Stardust, let us explore the process of civilization together. Civilization refers to the historical stage in which human society has made significant progress in agriculture, cities, writing, politics, religion, art, etc. The emergence and development of ancient civilization laid the foundation for subsequent culture and civilization, and also provided the source and inspiration for our lifestyle and way of thinking today. Today we continue to explore one of the earliest civilizations in the ancient history of the world, the Egyptian civilization. The ancient Egyptian civilization appeared in the middle and lower reaches of the Nile River in northeastern Africa. It is one of the birthplaces of the five major civilizations and one of the four ancient civilizations. The ancient Egyptian civilization was formed around 5450 BC, when northern and southern Egypt were unified by Menes and established the first dynasty. Ancient Egyptian civilization ended in 30 BC when Rome conquered the Ptolemaic dynasty of Egypt. The development of ancient Egyptian civilization is inseparable from the Nile River. The annual flooding of the Nile River brought fertile soil to the valley, allowing the ancient Egyptians to grow crops and raise livestock. The Nile River also provided transportation convenience for the ancient Egyptians, allowing them to trade and communicate between various cities along the river. The ancient Egyptian civilization had rich cultural and artistic achievements, such as hieroglyphics, pyramids, mummies, polytheism, etc., which had a profound impact on subsequent civilizations and cultures. The characteristics of ancient Egyptian civilization are as follows, with exquisite urban planning. The cities of the Egyptian civilization were built according to the square street layout. They had strong city walls, sewers, warehouses, baths and other facilities, which demonstrated the engineering technology and management capabilities of the Egyptian civilization and also reflected the Egyptian civilization. Civilized social order and living standards, has a unique writing system. The writing of the Egyptian civilization is a writing composed of about 800 symbols. Each symbol represents a syllable or a meaning, which can record history, religion, economy and other contents. The writing of Egyptian civilization is an important carrier of Egyptian civilization, but it has not yet been fully interpreted. With an extensive trade network, the people of the Egyptian civilization used the Nile River and the ocean for trade and had close ties with civilizations in the Mesopotamian, Indus, and Afghan civilizations, exchanging materials and cultures, and demonstrating the commercial technology and diplomatic capabilities of Egyptian civilization also reflect the openness and diversity of Egyptian civilization. With rich works of art, the people of the Egyptian civilization created many works of art, such as pottery, sculptures, jewelry, seals, paintings, etc., which reflect the aesthetic taste and life scenes of the Egyptian civilization, and also express the beliefs and beliefs of the Egyptian civilization. Ideal. Among them, the pyramid and the sphinx are considered to be representative works of Egyptian civilization. They embody the architectural technology and religious concepts of Egyptian civilization and have high artistic value. Let's dig a little deeper, you want to know where the ancient Egyptians came from and what were their origins? The origins of the ancient Egyptians are an interesting topic, but also subject to much controversy. According to some archaeological and genetic evidence, the ancient Egyptians were a multicultural circle formed by the amalgamation of the indigenous inhabitants of North Africa and the Samnites, a nomadic people from West Asia. One around 600 BC, due to climate change, the grasslands of North Africa began to shrink. People gave up nomadic herding and began to seek fixed water sources for fixed farming. This is where residents gradually gathered and established villages, that is, in the lower Nile Valley. 2. In the second half of the 4th millennium BC, a country gradually formed here. By 343 BC, it had experienced a total of 31 dynasties, the race of the ancient Egyptians is also a complex and controversial issue. According to different standards and methods, there are different classifications and explanations. Generally speaking, the ancient Egyptians were a multicultural circle formed by the amalgamation of the indigenous people of North Africa and the nomadic Sem people from West Asia. 
Their skin color ranges from light to dark brown, but is not typically black or white. They are also not yellow, as they are far genetically distant from East Asians. The ancient Egyptians did not have a clear distinction between races, and there was no racial discrimination. They paid more attention to cultural differences, the politics and military of ancient Egypt were important aspects of ancient Egyptian civilization. They reflected the organizational capabilities and willingness of external expansion of the ancient Egyptians, the politics of ancient Egypt centered on the pharaoh, who was considered the representative of God and possessed divine power. The pharaoh had the highest authority in politics, military, religion and justice. They formulated laws, promulgated policies, commanded the army, and were responsible for the priests. And the appointment of officials, the pharaoh's rule symbolized the unity and stability of the country, the military strength of ancient Egypt changed in different periods, but generally it can be divided into the following stages, pre-dynastic period and early dynastic period. The ancient Egyptian army was mainly composed of temporary conscripts without fixed organization and training. It was mainly used to invade and conquer surrounding tribes and establish the foundation of the country, the Old Kingdom and the First Intermediate Period, the ancient Egyptian army began to have certain organization and training, and was mainly used to escort mining teams and maintain domestic order. Since there were no strong foreign enemies, the role of the army was not prominent, Middle Kingdom and Second Intermediate Period, the ancient Egyptian army underwent major reforms, with the emergence of a fixed standing army and professional arms, such as infantry, chariot troops, and fleets. The size and equipment of the army also increased, and it was mainly used for military purposes. Fight against foreign invaders such as the Hyksos and Nubians, and expand territory and influence, the New Kingdom and the Third Intermediate Period, the military power of ancient Egypt reached its peak. The organization and training of the army became more complete. More arms appeared, such as cavalry, sailors and special guard troops. The size and equipment of the army also reached a peak. The highest level is mainly used to establish and maintain the hegemony of the empire and fight with surrounding powers, such as Hittite, Babylonian, Assyrian and other countries, showing the military strategy in war technology of ancient Egypt. Post-dynastic period, the military power of ancient Egypt began to decline. The organization and training of the army gradually relaxed, and the arms and equipment also lagged behind the times. They were mainly used to resist the conquest and rule of foreign nations, such as the Persians, Greeks and Romans. Ancient Egypt civilization eventually died. The religious beliefs of ancient Egypt were composed of a complex set of polytheistic beliefs and religious rituals. They were an integral part of ancient Egyptian society. Its belief was born around 300 BC, and there have been many major changes. The biggest difference between Egyptian mythology and Greek mythology is that most of the gods in Egyptian mythology have human bodies and animal heads, the characteristics of ancient Egyptian religious beliefs are, polytheistic worship, there are tens of millions of gods believed by the ancient Egyptians. Each gnome, state, and city has a patron god, as well as national gods and so on. There were more than 2,000 gods worshipped in ancient Egypt, among which there were more than 10 important gods, such as Ammonius, Are, Osiris, Horus, Set, Ta, and Adam. Gods, Aten, Mentu, Anubis, Thoth, and Isis, the goddess of fertility and family, to name a few, worship of animals and plants, the worship of sacred animals is also popular in Egypt. Many animals are worshipped as gods, such as cows, crocodiles, cats, snakes, beetles, etc. This reflects the existence of a large number of local centers of worship throughout the Nile Valley prior to political unification, circa 2925 BC. Dot, pharaoh worship, the politics of ancient Egypt centered on the pharaoh. The pharaoh was considered to be the representative of God and possessed divine power. The pharaoh had the highest authority in politics, military, religion and justice. They formulated laws, promulgated policies, and commanded the army. 
Responsible for the appointment of priests and officials, the pharaoh's rule symbolized the unity and stability of the country. The sun god Ra is called the symbol of royal power, the protector of the king, and the highest god among the gods. The king often calls himself the son of Ra to enhance his authority. Cult of the Undead The ancient Egyptians believed that people had supernatural spirits or souls that could partially continue to exist after the individual's life ended. They believe that people have five souls, and the body is the container of the soul. The soul will leave the body every night and come back in the morning. They also believed that the soul would be resurrected after death and that the body must be preserved so that the soul could have its own home, so they invented embalming and mummification. They also believed that after death, Pluto Osiris would weigh his heart to judge whether it was good or evil, and then decide whether the soul should be resurrected or destroyed. The economic structure of ancient Egypt was a slave economy based on a redistribution system. It was influenced by the thinking and geographical environment of the ancient Egyptians and showed some unique characteristics. Redistribution system, the economy of ancient Egypt was centered on the pharaoh. The pharaoh owned the land and wealth of the country. He distributed the country's resources to temples, nobles, officials, and the army through rewards and taxes, forming a pyramid. Style Social Hierarchy The ancient Egyptians did not aim at maximizing profits, but only valued their own needs. Therefore, their trading activities often did not pay attention to the value of goods, but bartered or used unstable currencies such as grains and metals. And jewelry etc. Slavery Economy the economic production of ancient Egypt mainly relied on the labor of slaves. The sources of slaves were mainly prisoners of war or robbed by foreigners. They performed various heavy jobs in the fields of agriculture, handicrafts, construction and military, and contributed to the country and the country. Slave owners created vast amounts of wealth. The slavery economy of ancient Egypt reached its peak during the Old Kingdom, and many magnificent buildings such as pyramids and temples were built, demonstrating the civilization and power of ancient Egypt. Nile civilization, the economic development of ancient Egypt is inseparable from the Nile River. The annual flooding of the Nile River brought fertile soil to the river valley, allowing the ancient Egyptians to grow wheat, barley, flax and other crops, as well as breed cattle, sheep, pigs, etc. livestock. The Nile River also provided transportation convenience for the ancient Egyptians, allowing them to trade and communicate between various cities along the river. The geographical location of ancient Egypt made it relatively isolated from the outside world. Therefore, ancient Egyptian civilization could last for thousands of years without interruption, and it also maintained a certain degree of independence and originality. The culture and art of ancient Egypt are an important part of the ancient Egyptian civilization. They reflect the life, beliefs, values and aesthetic ideals of the ancient Egyptians. The culture of ancient Egypt mainly includes language, literature, philosophy, religion, architecture and other fields. They formed their own unique style and characteristics and had a profound impact on subsequent culture and civilization. The art of ancient Egypt is mainly expressed in sculptures and murals, which usually have a high sense of mystery and spirituality and are a way of expressing beliefs and religious thoughts. Ancient Egyptian works of art usually focus on expressing static and eternal images rather than dynamic and momentary situations. Ancient Egyptian artists were adept at working with a variety of materials, such as stone, wood, pottery, and metal. Ancient Egyptian artistic styles influenced artistic traditions in Europe, the Middle East, and Africa. Ancient Egyptian writing is a writing system composed of pictorial writing, syllabic writing and letters. It is one of the earliest forms of writing. With regular writing and strong pictorial character. It was used from 300 BC to the 4th century AD. There are three types of scripts in ancient Egypt, among which the epigraphic script, Hieroglyphic script, is regarded as the regular script and is often used in the carvings of inscriptions in temples, monuments, and pyramids. The cursive, monastic script and the simplified, secular script, 
are suitable for writing on papyrus, ancient Egyptian writing can be written horizontally or vertically, to the right or to the left, and the direction can be determined by the direction of the head of the animal character. Ancient Egyptian writing is a kind of writing that combines sounds and meanings. And its meaning symbols and sound symbols are derived from pictographic figures. The basic vocabulary of ancient Egyptian writing was composed of a set of three consonant roots, similar to Arabic and Hebrew. Ancient Egyptian writing died out after the 5th century AD, and was not redeciphered by European scholars until the early 19th century, mainly with the help of the Rosetta Stone, which was written in three scripts, history, secular and ancient Greek. Written with the same content, the ancient Egyptian marriage system has the following characteristics. Monogamy, ordinary people in ancient Egypt usually practiced monogamy, with equality between men and women, freedom of marriage, and women's rights to property inheritance and divorce. Marriage in ancient Egypt was based on love. Husband and wife respected each other, cared for each other, helped each other, and had romantic emotions, intermarriage between close relatives, the royal family and nobles of ancient Egypt practiced intermarriage between close relatives, such as brother and sister, father and daughter, grandparents and grandchildren, etc. This was to ensure the purity of the royal bloodline and the concentration of power. The pharaohs of ancient Egypt were considered to be the incarnations of gods. And their marriages were influenced by mythology and religion, imitating the marriage patterns of the gods, marriage contract, marriage in ancient Egypt required the conclusion of a contract or agreement, which stipulated the bride price, dowry, property distribution, divorce conditions, etc. to protect the wife's rights and interests. An ancient Egyptian marriage contract was a document similar to a modern prenuptial agreement, compiled by the bride's father and signed by both parties in the presence of witnesses, eternal marriage, the ancient Egyptians believed that marriage was eternal and couples would be reunited in the afterlife after death, so they attached great importance to choosing a suitable life partner. The ancient Egyptians believed that after death, people would be judged by Osiris, the king of the underworld. If life was worthwhile, they could enter the reed field and continue to get along with their spouse and family. The rise and decline of ancient Egyptian civilization is a long and complex topic. Simply put, it can be divided into the following stages. Pre-dynastic period, before about 3200 BC the budding stage of ancient Egyptian civilization. The residents of the Nile Valley began to form city-states and tribes, and developed agriculture and writing. Early dynastic period, approximately 3100 BC, 2686 BC the unification stage of ancient Egyptian civilization. King Menes merged Upper and Lower Egypt into one country and established the first dynasty with Memphis as its capital, the Old Kingdom, approximately 2686 BC, 2181 BC the first heyday of ancient Egyptian civilization. The country was strong and the culture was prosperous. Magnificent buildings such as the pyramids were built, and the first historical book, Poppy, appeared. Ruth Westerkar, the first intermediate period, approximately 2181 BC, 2040 BC the first decline stage of ancient Egyptian civilization, with the collapse of centralized power, local separatism, foreign invasion, and social unrest, Middle Kingdom, approximately 2040 BC, 1786 BC the revival stage of ancient Egyptian civilization. The pharaohs of the 11th dynasty reunified Egypt, expanded the territory, improved water conservancy, developed literature and art, and emerged. Classic works such as, The Egyptian Book of the Dead, dot, the Second Intermediate Period, approximately 1786 BC, 1567 BC the second decline stage of ancient Egyptian civilization. The country was divided. The foreign nation Hyksos occupied Lower Egypt and established the 15th dynasty. The 17th dynasty of Upper Egypt was a long-standing rivalry, New Kingdom, approximately 1567 BC, 1085 BC the second heyday of ancient Egyptian civilization. Pharaoh Amos I of the 18th dynasty expelled the Hyksos and reunified Egypt. It opened the imperial era of Egypt, conquered Nubia, Syria, Palestine and other places, interacted with Hittite, 
Babylonian, Assyrian and other countries, and built the Temple of Karnak, the Temple of Ammonius, Ramesses' two historical events such as Akhenaten's monotheistic reforms a. Ramesses' two historical events such as Akhenaten's monotheistic reforms and Tutankhamun's golden mask appeared in numerous temples and tombs, the Third Intermediate Period, about 1085 BC, 667 BC the third stage of decline of ancient Egyptian civilization. The decline of the New Kingdom led to the division of Egypt. Lower Egypt in the north was controlled by the Libyans and the Kushites, Upper Egypt in the south was controlled by the temple priests, and foreign forces such as Assyrians and Persians also continued to invade, post-dynastic period, c. 667 BC, 332 BC the final stage of ancient Egyptian civilization. Under the conquest and rule of the Persians, Greeks, and Romans. Egypt gradually lost its independence and culture, and the ancient Egyptian civilization eventually went extinct, dear viewers, Thank you for watching and accompanying us. This is the video about world civilization that we bring to you today. We hope that through this video, you can understand the history, characteristics, achievements and influence of different civilizations, appreciate the beauty and diversity of different civilizations, think about the mutual exchanges and interactions of different civilizations, and reflect on different problems and challenges of civilization. We believe that civilization is the commonwealth of mankind and the common responsibility of mankind. We should respect and protect every civilization, promote and develop every civilization, and let the light of civilization illuminate our future. If you like this video, please give us a like and comment, and please also follow our channel. We will continue to bring you more interesting and useful videos. Thank you again for watching, see you next time.